this this was a crazy day, crazy experience. But I'm just grateful. I can't even explain it, man. No cap. Uh, did you have a lot of um, communication at all with the Saints during your pre-draft process, or was this a little bit of a surprise for you? Um, actually, it was a little bit of a surprise to be honest with you. Like, big surprise. I'm grateful though, no count. <laughs> Very grateful. Did you have any contact with them at all at any point throughout the process? Um, we might have talked. I think at maybe the East West Shrine Bowl, but not too much. Like. Why? Why are you so uh, like you know just the the surprise of it? Like why? Why are you? Why are you surprised? It was just a um. We just didn't talk a lot. Like it wasn't a team that you feel me communicated with me a lot. So this pick came as a surprise. Is this kind of the the range where you were expecting to be drafted though? Were you were you kind of starting to feel like it was about your time? Um, I just was waiting for my name to be called. I didn't really care where I went or when, when I was going. I just was waiting and just grateful for the opportunity, any opportunity. And uh, just t tell us a little bit about your game. If, if you had to, you know, define your 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 game, what would you say? Um, I would just say like um, I'm a vertical threat. I spread the field. Um, I'm able to play every receiver position, slot in, outside, and I'm just a playmaker ready to contribute to the wins. And uh, I was reading up some scouting reports on you, and like in every single one, it kind of mentions your ability on on contested catches. What what do you think makes you good on those? I just use my size, strength, and um, just hand eye, like just concentration. I just use all of that as a as a weapon and go go up and attack the ball at its highest point. And it, it, is that a mentality as much as a, a physical attribute? Oh yeah, that's a mentality. It's like a I want the ball mentality. Like if I get it, if I don't get it, nobody gets it type mentality. I need the ball. <laughs> yeah. Is there anyone in the NFL like you model yourself after or have watched a lot of film of? Um, I watch film on a lot of receivers in the league. Like I don't say I wouldn't say I model my game after any specific receiver, but I take things from a lot of receivers in the league and kind of add them to my game. Bob, I say that um, talk a little bit about your college career, Louisiana Tech. You transferred to Pitt. Uh, your experience there, maybe how you matured as a player and person there at Pitt. Okay. Well, um, my I did spend a little time at Louisiana Tech, a great time actually. Um, in Western Louisiana, man, I had a little Louisiana experience already. You feel what I'm saying? But um. I had a great time at uh in at Tech, but you feel me? Like I just had a chance for the better of my career, I guess. And um, my time at Pitt was just elite, man. Like Coach Tyquan Underwood, like uh Coach Signetti, Coach Doozy, they made my time there great experience at uh Pitt, and they just led me here to this opportunity. See that big smile when you talk about the state of Louisiana? Are you excited to make the return? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm excited to get back to Louisiana, man. I had some of the best times in college out there, man. Are you uh, aware that there's a restaurant called Bubs? Oh, okay. I got to try it out. <laughs> okay, cool. Burger, okay. burger spot. Burger spot. It's a burger spot. So. <laughs> okay, I got to hit there. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know about the Saints, if if you know anything? Um, Well, like Reggie Bush, them. But actually, when I was a freshman at Tennessee, uh, one of the receivers uh, that was in my room actually got drafted to the Saints, Marquez Callaway. Yeah, and my, about it? and my dog Amante Taylor, he he out there too. <laughs> Are those guys that you've kept in touch uh, with over the years? Um, I follow them on Instagram and stuff like stuff like that, but like we don't really talk too much. Um, you know the Saints make kind of big news for themselves over the course of the offseason with their transition on offense and wanting to go to a little bit more of a wide zone offense and things like that. Is that a scheme, a system that you feel like you'll you'll fit into? And how do you feel like you'll be able to contribute to that? Um, well, I feel like I'll fit whatever scheme. Like, they can put me anywhere on the offense. I, I can play slide. I can play outside. I can, I can run short routes. I can run intermediate routes. I can uh, stretch the field down um, vertically. So I feel like I I can fit in any any scheme, and I feel like I'll, I'll thrive in their offense. You uh, do you like the block at all? Do you do any blocking? 
oh yeah, come on, man. Like if you don't block, you don't get the rock type, type mentality. Then, you feel me? I understand. <laughs> we we are one one team. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I have a uh, a very good friend that covers pit football out there. He mentioned you as somebody that might be able to contribute on uh, special teams as a gunner as well. Is that something that you're you're looking forward to doing oh, at the yeah. next level as well? Oh yeah, I'm a football player, man. I'm I'm looking to get it done any way I can to help the team get some wins. I'm that type of guy. Yes, sir. Bob, while I pit, I'm just curious. Uh, did you ever meet Larry Fitzgerald when he came back to pit? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He came to practice one time. I got to talk, chop it up with him for a little bit. We didn't get to chop it up too much because it was during practice. But, yeah, I got to talk to him for sure. Great guy, no count, legendary receiver. Are there any uh, current NFL wideouts that you spend some time talking to or, or maybe even past NFL wideouts that you spend some time talking to just in terms of, like, getting ready and going through the draft process? Um, Current NFL guys, probably not too many current NFL guys. Like, uh, Justin Ross, he worked out with my trainer, um, Top Shelf TJ, so – uh, he'd be out. We, he'd be out there at the workouts. I asked him like how his draft experience was, and like we chop it up. Like you feel me? Like we kind of cool for real. So like, like that's probably only the only NFL dude that you feel me. I could think of. What was some of the uh, advice that he gave you that was most helpful uh, throughout the process? Be patient and be ready to work. That's just what it is. Like it don't matter where you get picked. Just be ready to work whenever you get there. That's what everybody keeps telling a trainer. Anybody I talk to, like everybody, like they let me let me know. Be be patient, and when you, wherever you go, it's just step one again. You got to put your head down and grind. You you come off with a, a you know very positive personality, smiling, all that. Was was the idea of culture building something that was like within your atmosphere when you were at Pitt? Um, can you culture building? What what does that mean? Like culture building or like uh, tone setting, anything like that. Did, did you feel like you had a leadership role there? Yeah, I had a leadership role, but I was more of like a lead by example type person. Like I, I do say something when necessary, but I, I lead, I lead by going out there and putting in the work. For example, like the the younger guys at Pitt will see me catching jugs or ca getting extra catches after practice, and I'll yell, "Hey, bro, where you going? Get some extra practice. Get, get some extra catches, like stuff like that." But I'm I'm just one of them workers, so I I lead by example. They are gonna see me on the field getting to work, no matter what role I play. I'm a starter, like I was a starter on, on my team, fifth year guy, like, and I still get extra catches. I still be in the um, facility ten o'clock at night getting reps. So I'm, you feel me? Like I'm always working. I'm trying to get better. You looking forward to having a uh, practice back in two hundred degree weather? <laughs> oh yeah, come on, man. That's gonna be. Uh, hey, I already experienced it, so it ain't nothing new, man. <laughs> <laughs>